my YouTube channel. Now basically each episode I'm going to cover a physics topic and hopefully try and explain it in a simple and understandable way. Some episodes are just going to be fun physics facts, but most are going to try and tie in to the current school curriculum. So when that's the case, I'm going to put the key stage in the episode title. Thermal equilibrium is actually a really simple concept, but it does have a bit of a fancy definition. The condition under which two physical systems interact with each other and exchange no heat energy. To be honest, what this really means is that when two objects are in contact with each other and are at the same temperature, they are in thermal equilibrium, just because their temperatures equal each other. Simples. So, when two objects of different temperatures are brought into contact with each other, heat will be transferred from one object to the other until they both reach the same temperature, and therefore, thermal equilibrium. This is why when you get a drink with ice in, the ice eventually melts and waters your drink down. Ugh, so annoying. Anyway, this is a process of the water warming the ice up until they both reach thermal equilibrium and the contents of the entire cup are all the same temperature. But once thermal equilibrium has been reached, no more heat flow will take place. So no more warmth will transfer from the water to the ice. Because it's so easy, I'm going to advance just a tiny bit further. Thermal equilibrium is the subject of the zeroth law of thermodynamics. What's thermodynamics? Thermodynamics is the study of the relationship between heat, temperature, work and energy. And the zeroth law is not a law named after a man called Mr. Zero. It's literally like zeroth law. Anyway, so the zeroth law of thermodynamics simply introduces a third system into our thermal equilibrium relationship. So say we have three systems, A, B, and C. That's three. If A is in thermal equilibrium with C and B is in thermal equilibrium with A, then C must be in thermal equilibrium with B. In other words, if two systems are both in thermal equilibrium with a third system, all at the same time, then all three systems must be in thermal equilibrium with each other. Okay. Give me an example. Alright, I'll give you an example of the zeroth law and introducing a third system in. This is going to take some imagination. Picture in your mind your fridge. And you want to put some leftovers from dinner in your fridge. Let's say you had lasagna. So put your little Tupperware of lasagna in your fridge and over time heat will be transferred from the Tupperware to the cold air in the fridge until they both reach the same temperature and therefore thermal equilibrium. Yeah, we already knew that. So you have your Tupperware of lasagna in the fridge and it's now reached thermal equilibrium with the air inside the fridge. So it should be pretty cold now if your fridge works properly. But if there are other items of food in the fridge, the lasagna is now not only in thermal equilibrium with the cold air in the fridge, it is also in thermal equilibrium with every single other item of food in the fridge. Because they'll all be at the same temperature. So the lasagna, the butter, the milk, the pizza will all be in thermal equilibrium with each other as well as with the fridge. Zero floor. Not so bad. Thank you for listening. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did and you want to learn about other cool physics facts, then please like and subscribe and watch all of my other videos. And if you want to learn about a specific topic, please leave a comment below and I will try to do a video for you.